Hello folks, welcome. Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon. Filming in 1080, I would highly recommend subscribing if you're wanting to uh, know how to do this because I'm going to talk about the procedure of connecting your iPhone to Linux Mint 22 without wires. And that would be uh, using KDE Connect on your Wi-Fi network. Uh, you can certainly use this information too uh, for Android uh, when it comes down to adding the applications. It's just slightly different. Uh, but the example I have for you today is on an iPhone. I'll talk about adding the Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon application and also the application on the iPhone and how to configure both of them. I'll also discuss the importance of a firewall if you use one about rules. And then I'm going to show you how to install a simple applet to monitor communications when you receive a file. Okay, all that stuff. Again, I would highly recommend subscription. Not everybody's cup of tea. Again, filming in 1080. One more time, welcome. We're going to first start, if you want to do this, um, by opening up your software manager. And you're going to look for this application. It's called KDE Connect. Okay, if you already used it before, maybe you know how to um, do some configuration, but these, the video is generally meant for folks that have never used it. So install that. And again, this is for smartphones, tablets. So anyways, we're going to be using an iPhone for today's demo. So once this is installed, the system package, you're going to find it in your Mint menu if you type in KDE, and you'll see Connect, which is the main app. The indicator will come on um, when you actually turn the app on. And uh, you can also right click on the indicator with uh, connect settings. And I'm not going to talk about messaging. That would be SMS. So really, I'm going to talk about transferring files. But in this case, we're going to be doing mostly photos. OK, now most people do not need this running or auto start it when you log in because you're not constantly transferring photos or files. So my suggestion, I'm going to do things my way, but my suggestion is to place this as a shortcut on your panel bar or in your menu. You can certainly right click, add to panel, add to desktop, add to favorites. Now, if you decide to go desktop, you must right click and add. You can't drag the icon to the desktop. I think that works on the Monte desktop, but not on Cinnamon. However, you can drag this icon over to here and drop it and make another copy of it by dragging that downstairs. Okay, so that's one thing. Now, before I start the app, I'm also going to suggest to you two things. Check your firewall settings and also I will recommend an application, sorry, an applet to install. Now, whether you want to go through your settings this way or right click, that's all up to you. The first thing we're going to talk about is the firewall, and that's down over here under admin. The firewall for Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon comes disabled by default. Sam is just a made up name user, but put in your username password. All right, if you see this colored, that means the firewall is on. Again, it's normally turned off and it'll be gray like that. It says firewall disabled. And when it's disabled, you see no rules. However, mine was on before I started. And I also have some rules in here. Did I just make these up? No, actually, they're very simple to do. And the application KDE Connect has to be done before you do this. In other words, installed. So KDE Connect is installed. Here's our shortcut. I haven't activated yet. We're going to deal with the firewall. If you want to test all this stuff out first, you can certainly turn off your firewall. However, when you turn it back on, please remember it's going to deny all incoming. So you need to do the plus thing and add an application filter. So just type in KDE. And you can see it populated. KDE Connect is what you want. Allow and what direction? You can do in, out, or both. In is the most common, of course. 
because you're receiving. Do the odd thing. And you can see the rules that I've added. And the only time they're in play is when this is on. All right, please don't remember, uh, don't forget about this. That's why I recommend watching these kind of videos in its entirety. If you don't want to deal with the firewall, then turn it off. All right, now that I have that out of the way, let's talk about an applet. Applets can be clicked over here or you can right click on your panel bar. Applet. Now, when I turn this thing on, it's going to produce its own applet, but this I'm going to recommend that you set up a separate applet for this. I'll show you why in a second. So uh, I just typed in KDE and it's got two applets. One is by Jojo TV, kind of a funny name. Uh, it has uh, for the ratings popularity, it's got 19 and the one below it is 15. Uh, the one by the lower one I found did not post messages to the screen. This one does. This is the reason I'm using that because I want to be able to, if I'm working, doing something and a file's being sent, maybe you've got a family member or a team member sending you stuff um, through KDE Connect, you can see post-it notes. So I'm going to install that. Once you got the check mark, go to manage, you go find it and you turn it on. And that applet will appear to the right of my last applet on my right hand side, to the left of this applet here. So that has currently a zero on it. That means there's nothing connected. Okay. All right, I'm gonna leave the configuration blank. Now I'm gonna walk over to here though and click that. Now it'll say find devices. Now my iPhone happens to be on the same Wi-Fi and I'm going to turn on the actual application and you can see that it popped up. So the device is not trusted. So we're gonna trust the device, pair the device. Okay. I have a posted note on my, my screen on my iPhone. Pair request, P do not pair or pair. I just click that and all of a sudden I got all kinds of things popping up on my screen. The device is now trusted and more importantly connected and the applet says one on it. You'll also see a second applet over here called KDE Connect. I'm gonna close that and that'll remain connected until I log out. All right, so if you right click on this one and hit configure, you can actually see the configuration for the name of the device and I'll show you all the good stuff on the phone in a second. All right, I usually keep the defaults. You can see all the stuff here, quite a few things. All right, and uh, the only reason I'm installing this applet is so I can get a post-it note every time I send a file from the iPhone. They're gonna be all received in downloads. Now, I decided to leave these up, but I will delete, delete them and re-download them, but let's go to the iPhone for a second. Or you can substitute with this with an Android phone. Go to whatever software store that you guys use on the Android phone, but on the iPhone is you know, the application store. And you go find by hitting search KDE Connect. It should be in there. Today's date is October 27th, 2024. Anyways, install that. Once the app is installed, um, I think this is the settings box. You're going to open this box up and you'll have devices, files, and settings. If you want to rename the name of the device on the iPhone, in other words, how the iPhone connects to your computer, then you can change that. It's not going to rename your iPhone. This is just the name that the application will use when it connects to Linux Mint, in this case. So I just called it my iPhone. The other thing to be aware of, please be careful in your advanced settings. There's a lot of red things in there that uh, there's a recommendation of not doing. Generally, if you just leave the defaults, you should be okay. So when you click devices, you're going to see this screen next. Okay, I happen to have two devices. Uh, this one is Linux Mint 21.3 and this is Linux Mint 22. How do I know if I have multiple computers with KDE Connect on it? 
All right, so the first thing to do is, um, my simplest suggestion is, do you have terminal on your panel bar? If not, open up the settings and type in T and open up terminal. You don't have to punch in anything. I'll just make this larger for you. If you have never understood how terminal uh, has this displayed, this is the name of the user. Sam is our name of our user for today. The at symbol, and then this part represents the name of the computer. So we're connecting to LM22, the name of that device or computer. So when you, after you pair the two, and you have a green thing here, you can click that. Remember, I paired it on the computer already. And um, you will end up with that. So it's telling me the device I'm connected to is LM22, which is this computer. I can do the clipboard thing. I can send photos and videos, and that's really what I'm going to cover today. I'm not going to cover the rest of this stuff, just sending photos. And that's the most common thing that people like to do. Okay. Once you push that button, you end up with, uh, I think it's this one. This will open up your photos and you select them just like you normally would and then hit add and you may see this privacy notice here about KDE Connect and once that's done you'll they'll be sent immediately providing again you're on the same Wi-Fi what I'm going to do here folks um, I am going to uh, resend all of these again now I'm going to pull the box over to the side so you can see the post-it notes and they'll be one at a time. I can do this either one at a time or I can do multiple. Okay. So uh, basically I'm going to be sending the first one over. I'll do one and you can see it and you can see the post-it note. That's why I like this applet. All right. So that's the first image. It's a screenshot. If you don't know how to make screenshots on your iPhone, I'll give, give you a side tip. You uh, press the upper volume key and the power key at the same time. If you're wanting to make a screenshot on your iPhone. And then you can save that to your photos. All right, now I'm going to select multiples. I will do the same that I had on the screen. But uh, I won't send the birdhouse, but I got a couple of other nature shots that... Uh, I have for you. I'm into hiking and stuff like that. All right, you see how many files just popped up on the screen and you can see that this is done very quickly and uh, I have a fairly fast network. But these are still sending the post-it notes and that's okay, we've already seen the files. And this comes in handy when things are minimized. So you can start saying, oh, something, somebody is sending me something. That's the whole reason I put that there. You can actually click that and it'll open. Yeah, there's another tip for you. All right, so I will be using my space bar on my keyboard for this. So here's the first photo. It's just uh, some flowers and a nice little waterfall. So again, these are just screenshots. These are in PNG formats. These are in JPEGs. So you can send them over to your pictures or do whatever you want to with these. You can usually create a folder, call these screenshots, whatever. But the most important thing, again, on your iPhone is you, or Android is KDE Connect. Install that. And uh, then you can configure these things. If you want to change the name of the device, that would be your phone, your smartphone. Call it whatever you want. And then... Um, Depending on how many devices are currently connected with on the computer, you'll see them appear here and you can click them independently. Once you click the connector, you'll end up with something like that. Click the send photos as in our case and select the photo. One at a time or multiples and hit add. This even has battery information, believe it or not. You can see that says 70%. I think this one does the same thing. May have to, yeah, there it is, 70%. Okay, so again, I'm using, this is the standard icon. This one here has the post-it notes. 
So you distri distribute your photos, in this case, to whatever appropriate folder. So let me do a recap, folks. I'm at 15 minutes. So on your iPhone, it's important that you install these first. So going back to downloads, it's KDE Connect. And uh, just refer back to do the configuration uh, on the video. You can always back this video up. Linux Mint 22, you'll go to Software Manager and you install the KDE Connect app. And keep in mind the KDE Connect app will install four of these things. Once you activate these, and I'm doing it manually, you can either click it here or here if it's not running. Keep in mind when you log out, this will all disappear except for that one. That'll say zero until you click that and reopen that. Two things are required to have communications. One is you're on both on the same Wi-Fi network. Two is the app needs to be open on the computer and on the iPhone in this case, so they can connect. And speaking of connections, are you using a firewall? So one more time on that firewall. If your firewall has color, you better have some rules. If you have no rules, that's why it's not working. If you want to turn it off and retest it, you may find it's working just fine. And you turn your firewall back on, you hit the plus key. You can look for the app if you want to scroll for it or type in KDE and look for KDE Connect and then allow and direction in or both, incoming and outgoing, depending on which direction you want to go. Okay, so that's why you see these different rules. Thank you for watching.